Hey guys, what is going on? And welcome to another Fortnite season here on the channel. Today is the first day of Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4, bringing with it the Nexus War. So we're going to go into Battle Royale, we're going to have a look. Loading screen is gorgeous, but we're going to start off with a lovely little trailer. Uh, that's a Bifrost. Who's this one here? Well, uh, She-Hulk. Uh, that's Wolverine. He's been sucked up as well. Oh, here we are on the Fortnite Island. Yo, is that Rocket Raccoon? Rocket Raccoon's on there. And the Helicarrier. Oh wait, they're going to fight each other. Peely Claws! <laughs> That's brilliant. I can literally hear Thor saying, Stop, stop. Oh, there comes Galactus. Fortnite Season 4 Nexus War. And now we've got the Battle Pass video. My memories are broken. But I know I brought these mighty warriors here to defend our reality. <laughs> well, the gameplay looks pretty cool actually. Could this be a special game mode or something? Like this stuff here that looks like it could be a secret game mode that will come in in the season. Because those videos normally show you stuff that's going to come in later on in the season. So, what have we got here? The Battle Pass. What are we going to do? We're going to buy it. Straight in. Battle Pass unlocked. So, we've just unlocked Thor, Son of Odin, God of Thunder, part of the Thor set. So, if you go in, you've got obviously, the Helicarrier is the actual lobby right now. Uh, you've got like your challenges on the side. Quick challenges have been decreased to 10k XP. Then, what else do we have? Well, you can go over to the Battle Pass. Well, over here in the Battle Pass, you've got your challenge table in the middle. That's going to start off with the week one challenges for you, which are searching chest of dirty docks, eliminations at Holly Hedges, eliminating Stark quarry bots at Quinjet uh, patrol landing sites, gassing up a vehicle at Lazy Lake, collecting floating rings at Misty Meadows, dealing damage with Stark Industries energy rifles, and eliminating Doctor Doom at Doom's Domain, which is the new name for where Pleasant Park was. So, um, what else have we got here? Well, we've got the comic book. Has anything changed there? Indeed it has. We have 12 pages by the looks of it now. So if we go through to page 10, where we finished off yesterday. Ah, oh, it's actually the comic, Marvel, Nexus War, Thor. And it's just sort of like teasing that. that so this is actually going to be like a proper comic. That's going to be pretty cool. So, what else have we got on this tab? Well, you have the Wolverine challenges. Wolverine is going to be the secret skin of the season. Um, ah. So it's like, ooh, okay. This is quite interesting. I don't like how this is. I don't like how this is working. I'm not used to it. We're gonna have a look at the punch cards first. So we're gonna go and check how that's going to work. Yo, that music is gorgeous. Oh, so punch cards. There's 55 of them. Track progress and earn XP. Experiment on the island to discover punch cards. Reach milestones in each punch card to earn XP. So we've got some. We've got quite a few punch cards here. They're all classified by the shield logo, and there's 55 of them, which uh, that's a bit more than we had last season. 
I don't quite know what that is down the bottom left. I think that's literally just your season level. So then if we go over to the actual Battle Pass screen itself. So as you can see at level 1 you get the uh, you get Thor. Level 2 you're getting his Contrail. 5 is his Cloak. I'm not going to go through all of them. 6. Oh, that's a nice glider actually. 8. You get Mjolnir. Now if you look on the left hand side it's, uh, as well there's pre, uh, prerequisites. And, uh, well, prerequisites, sorry. And Mjolnir Awakening Challenges, because there's going to be Awakening Challenges coming throughout the season. If you notice as well, there's 16 pages down the bottom, because Battle Pass is going to work slightly different, but we'll get onto that in a second. So, as you can see in the background as well, the background is blue at the moment, that is because we're on Thor. 10, that's a nice wrap, actually. Quite a nice wrap right there. 14. Whoa, there's actually a glider where you can use Mjolnir to fly. That's pretty cool. Then at 15, God of Thunder, you unlock his built-in emote. Whoa, that is awesome. Uh, and th then you'll get the Thor Awakening challenges as well. Like, all of these will have Awakening challenges. Right, then, if you move over to She-Hulk uh, pages, at 22, you actually unlock Jennifer Walters. Uh, which is She-Hulk herself, but 19, there's music as well. I think that's the Battle Pass music from this season. Um, if we continue on, 25, you've got like the Hammers of Justice. 29, you get the Gamma Overload uh, built in a mode, which transforms her into She-Hulk. And you also, there's the Awakening Challenges there. Then, next one is Groot at 32. You get the sapling Groot back bling, which literally does the dance from the end of Guardians of the Galaxy 1, which is absolutely beautiful to see. At 35, there's a new music pack. That's pretty cool. 37, you've got um, the Groot pickaxes, either dual wield or one-handed. And uh, it, I love how the description just says they are also Groot and then at 38 you get Groot himself and the description of that is he is Groot honestly plain simple effective love it 42 you get the root wings glider that's pretty cool at 46 you get the battle bros built in a moat so you actually get like a little flying oh you get a little flying rocket raccoon but it, Groot just turned to him and said I am Groot oh that's actually quite cute then next one's Storm as you go through it. 50, you get her Contrail, which looks pretty nice. 53, you actually get Storm herself. Um, as you continue on, 60, you get the Gale Force built in a moat. Ooh, that's, that looks quite spicy. Then next up is Doctor Doom. Now there is music at 61. So it's pretty intense. 67, you get Doctor Doom himself, Eternal Ruler of Latveria. Pretty cool. 68, oh, the Chalice, the Bat Bling is quite cool, actually. I quite like the Bat Bling. Uh, 71, you get his Arcane Energy Glider. Honestly, the fact that they've changed... But um, the fact that they've actually changed the gliders so that, like, it doesn't have to be a glider anymore is beautiful. 74, you got the built-in emote, Victory Von Doom. But that is a perfect emote once you've got a victory right there. Then, next up, you got Mystique. So, as you work up to 80, you'll unlock Mystique. As you continue to go with Mystique, 84, you've got, like, a Contrail. 86, Shapeshifter built-in emote. Eliminate your opponent and borrow their appearance. That's pretty impressive. Then, your final person on the battle pass is going to be Tony Stark, Iron Man. So at 93, you unlock uh, Tony Stark himself. And as you continue to go, you're going to get more stuff towards him. So, for example, 96, you get the Mark 85 Energy Blade pickaxe. 98, you get the Mark 90 Flight um, Pack Glider, which is pretty cool. And then at 100, you get the Suit Up Emote, which literally turns him into Iron Man. So, what else is there that is secret here? Well, you've got page 15 of the Battle Pass, which is all the Wolverine challenges. So, as you can see, you're going to get a challenge a week to unlock different things. So, in five weeks, you'll be able to get Wolverine himself. 
And then you'll be able to also get the we uh, the weapon emoticon, the banner, and the built-in emote, which is Snicked, which equips his claws. And then, finally, page 16, you've got the weekly challenge reward. So you'll get a new style option. If you complete uh, 10 challenges from week 1 or 2, you'll get Jennifer Walters' new style. 10 from week 3 or 4 is a new style for Storm. 10 from 5 or 6 for Wolverine, 10 from 7 or 8 for Doctor Doom, and 10 from 9 or 10 for Mystique. Now, one question that people have been asking is, is the skin enlightenment this season? Yes, there is. Uh, it's called foils. There's a silver foil, a gold foil, and a hollow foil for every skin. Now, once you hit level 100, those will become visible. And what you have to do is every five levels, you'll unlock a foil for a character. You've got to get... Um, <coughs> all the silver foils up to level 140 then once you've got the silver foils you can, you're can you going to start unlocking the gold ones for each character up to 180 and then the hollow ones up to 220 fairly simple pretty self explanatory right there now the competitive page you'll notice there's nothing there yet and that is for good reason of course so Thor um, pretty cool skin actually I've got to admit um the item shop today, is there anything really particular worth noting? Nothing yet. Now, career. If you look at the career tab, you'll notice that they've changed the background picture. Um, honestly, it looks pretty nice. And the colour of the actual legacy achievements that you're getting is going to be sort of like a red coloured theme. So, with that in mind, that is it for our first looks at the new season here in Fortnite chapter 2 season 4 uh, we are going to be doing another video later today of actual gameplay so make sure you stay tuned for that but as for this one I hope you enjoyed it found it informative enjoyable and fun to watch and I'll see you all in the next one